morning, guys. Time to put down some more miles. Got the trackers and the XL ready to go. Hopefully we have some weight on our back today. I'm not taking my scope or my tripod. I wanna just be light and uh, feel like I can move um, because we haven't found where these bulls shed yet. I'm gonna start low, gain elevation, and then I'll work high probably, and then come back down on this other low bench and uh, see if they were low when they shed. Got a couple elk tracks. Down low here, it's a good sign. You're kind of taking me the opposite direction that I want to go, but might be worth just taking a quick look in here on this knob. Looks like an antler up here. I don't think it's what we want. I just popped open my energy drink for the day. White antlers definitely glow more than a brown but finding these whites makes me feel like I'm not really missing the browns what do you got buddy what's that one we don't like those huh that's a chalk mule deer been laying up on this bench forever I'm not, I'm not really an elk sign anymore just a couple solo tracks uh most of the sign is really right back towards camp and then up high so they must have been like going back and forth from that point. I don't know what to think. Elk sign everywhere. I glassed up the match to that first white I found yesterday. They're maybe 30 yards apart from each other, so I'll go get those at some point. But I don't know what to think. I've been low, I've been mid, I've been high. There's just a couple spots low and a couple spots high and one ridge to the, the left that I haven't hit yet. I just got to find that pocket and hopefully it's today because I only have like tomorrow morning and then I got to head out of here. Hopefully this is pretty good. Got the uh, peak refuel, Chad Money Mendez Money Punch, but it's going to be in an icy form because I still have slush from the snow. I'm going to shake that up and see how it is. Definitely didn't mix as well as I'd like, but... Not bad. There's a couple bulls just hanging out on this hillside across from me. I'm gonna pick up these two whites here in about five minutes uh, that I glassed up and then go hit this little low ridge that I haven't been on yet. Just get down to the first one. It's a last year's hard white. Nice, nothing big. His other side should be right up here. Here's the other side. Looks like a match. Check out that rodent Scott to him. Chewed up his base right there. But should be a match. Yep. A little bit more weathered on that one, which is surprising because it was shaded, but last year's antlers. Thank God for that breeze, it's hot, very hot. Update on the day, I have my little white set. I've been saving this one ridge and uh, <laughs> I don't know what to think. I've been gritting like crazy, still no antlers so. Bad luck on this trip, I guess, so far, but we'll keep at it and maybe things will change. It's like three o'clock right now, so. It's been rough getting my butt kicked for sure, but I feel like my eye is on. Um, I just glassed up a white from a uh, camp knob. So I found two chalk mule deer, a chalk elk I didn't show you guys, another chalk elk I glassed up but didn't want to go get, and now this one. Looking at it through the glass, it's actually a side-by-side -side set, um, but very old. You can see it's chalked out as I zoom in. 
you could see that it's broken. It looked like it would have been a nice antler, but it's broken right after the third there. Then the left side is at the top, the right side's down there in the bottom. So my eye is on. I feel like I'm, I'm finding, you know, antlers here and there, but those brown ones are kicking my butt. I don't know what the heck happened to them. As we got some dinner cooking getting warm by the fire um, that's probably gonna be it for for tonight's video or today's video ended with four uh, don't even know if I'm gonna pack them out we'll see how my pack feels once I get all of my gear loaded up on it to leave tomorrow but four plus the two deer and one two three elk sheds I didn't even go get because they were chalk so I guess not terrible for two days, but I can't believe after seeing four or five shed bulls um, between yesterday and today, I didn't find one brown antler. So either I just happened to miss every one of them, which after putting a total of 18 miles down, seems pretty hard to believe with glassing. I think what happened is these bulls got bumped by somebody or with that storm coming in, they moved and then the snow melted and then they moved again and that's when I saw them. I think something weird happened because I just I just think I would have stumbled onto one of the browns at least if uh, they were in here. So we'll hike out tomorrow, get on the Baku bike and uh, ride out of here. Thanks for watching though guys. Can't complain at all. I mean, backpacked into the desert. Just a man and his dog looking for sheds. Uh, pretty good life. So. Thank you for your support. Subscribe, like the video, um, share, all that stuff helps. And links to all the gear I'm using is in the description box of the video as always. So thank you and we'll catch you on the next video.